Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest. I want to say Happy New Year, Happy Holidays. I hope you guys had a great Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I hope you guys had a great one. And I definitely hope that 2021 is better for everyone than 2020 was. Today we're going to go over a few things. I'll show you what I picked up from the last Supreme Drop. I will also show you what I've gotten in from UPS because I haven't gotten everything in yet. Then we'll talk a little bit about the Supreme sale that's supposed to happen this Thursday. <laughs> Then I'll finish off with a little bit of the shoes that are releasing this week. So let's just get into it! I feel like I'm chosen, I'm covered in gold. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe down below. Uh, I've also have some links to different discords. The J Premium Discord, which probably will go on hiatus. The Lace Network, which is your one-stop shop for everything hype-related. And then I have my own Discord, which is a free Discord. You don't have to pay anything for it. You can just jump in. If you're interested in reselling, if you're interested in, in just buying hyped items, if you're interested in just owning and wearing them, um, a Discord is definitely something that you need to get involved with. Okay, so let's get into it. First off today, I want to go over the stuff that I was able to cop off of the last drop. Um, it was kind of a brick drop. The only big item really was the Zippo lighter, and I'm not really sure how big that is. Um, I thought that the retail for it was pretty solid, uh, being a Swarovski Crystal Zippo. So I really do think that these will probably be a decent item, maybe in a year or so. I won't let you go friend of the channel, Lewis, uh, he, he offered me Toro again this week, and I was like, nay, nay, I need not Toro this week. I shall run only on Swift. And it cooked. Swift Soul did a great job for me um, for the last drop. I was able to get two Zippos and two of the New Era fitted hats, a black one and a blue one. I'm sure that those hats will end up fine in the long run, but I'm regretting that purchase just, just a little bit. So anybody that slept that week, I don't think that you missed anything at all, really. Just the Zippo. The biggest win from the break for me was I was able to get a pair of Bodega Dunks uh, from the Bodega site. Uh, they haven't come in yet, so as soon as they do, I'll do another video, we'll do an unboxing, and I'll show you guys those in hand. They seem really cool. I'm really excited to get those. Okay, now moving on, I want to show you guys some of the items that I actually got in. UPS has blessed us with over the past couple of weeks. Now, this one was my favorite. So, on Christmas Eve, the UPS man dropped off a little baby Jesus for me. Look at this thing. It is amazing. I love the detail on it. If I get it real close, you can see it's all like hand done. Uh, the back is just completely velvet. This has a potential to be one of those grail items down the road. I know it's not doing very well right now, but a lot of items that become extremely popular don't do very well down the road and then they end up just blowing up. Um, I think if you have this, I will definitely wouldn't sell it right now. It's kind of bricky a little bit. It's going for like retail because it's kind of expensive for a stocking but when you see the detail on it, I mean it's, it is like it's all hand done. It's super super nice. Got the special tag on the inside just in case you ever looking at these to buy uh, this uh, Sephira tag but I mean there's no question if somebody faked this, if somebody made a fake of this and you didn't know that it was fake uh, then they did a good job. Might as well just keep it. <laughs> I got a bunch of t-shirts now. Um, we got in Mrs. Mariah Carey. This is a uh, black. Oops. This is a black XL. All Mariah wanted for Christmas is me, apparently, and she got me. Look at that. But yeah, so I'm I'm not opening this one, but I will keep it. This is part of the collection now. I'm gonna keep it in the plastic. It's gonna go it's gonna go sit next to that Christmas stocking at least until next Christmas. I am the one, the way your son don't need a so we're finally getting these guys in. I got these uh, cross box logos. I was able to get four of them. Um, this is a black medium. Um, I might have these sold already, so I'm not going to mess with this. If I keep any of them, it would be this black medium, because it would probably fit me. But I usually wear a large in Supreme, so I didn't actually get any larges. Uh, but here is the black medium. Pretty nice. And I also was able to get a black XL, so this is the nicest one that I was able to get this season. I, th I think I really do like the black one in these. It probably is one of the better colorways, for sure. Um, because I also was able to get... A natural XL uh, but this one is so it's so hard to see like even you can barely see it on here right like it's 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 really light 
Um, I do actually like the natural colorway. If you really look close, if I can get it in there, you can see there's like little specks of brown. It's not just white, you know, it's got some, it's got a little bit of color and texture to it, but I really wish that they would have made this stick out a little bit more because it just doesn't right now. Yeah, not my not my favorite of all the box logos, but still, I got an XL, so whatever. So then I got two other tees, they're personals, I'll open them for you here. This is the large black chrome tee that was released during the last tee week. Uh, let's see. I know I did too. Right? Alright, so pretty basic. You got the Supreme logo. Nice chesticle hit. But what I really like about this shirt is, look at that. You don't see a lot of Supreme shirts that have the big graphic on the back with a little tag on the front. And I like these colors. Uh, they look great on the on the black. Maybe the next episode we'll get we'll rock this guy. Now the other one I got for myself is the Anywhere tee. I know I said that this tee doesn't belong anywhere on anyone, but um, I don't know. It kind of grew on me the longer I looked at it. So let's open that one up too. Uh, it's kind of got like a, I don't know. It kind of feels a little off whitey to me. That's why I kind of grabbed it, and then I just thought it'd be something neat to wear. It's a good little graphic. It doesn't scream Supreme too terribly much. He has the little thing on the bottom here. Uh, everywhere in the world, established 94. It's nothing crazy, but the graphic grew on me, and so, uh, yeah, I went ahead and grabbed one for myself. Um, just one little personal cart with two t-shirts. Nice. Okay, now for actual news, guys. So, this week, this Thursday, the 7th of January, 2021, Supreme is going to do a fall winter 20 sale what that means is they take all the bricks that you guys decided not to buy this year and they collect them all back up and then they put them back for sale for somewhere between 40 to 60 percent off so this is how supreme does a little bit of alchemy for us okay and if you don't know what alchemy is it's when you take a piece of iron and you turn it into a piece of gold it was all the rage back in the medieval times but that is exactly what the Supreme sale does for you. It takes a brick that is a $500 brick and then cuts 60% off of that price. If you take an item that's $500 and you cut it by 60%, you're paying less than $250 for something that retailed for $500. So that means if you take this item, you will probably have to hold most of these. You're buying things that nobody wanted originally, so they're either ugly or they were too expensive in the first place, but then you get the discount on them, and so if you can even just sell them for original retail, all that being said, there's a lot of potential for a great amount of profit from this sale. Definitely pay attention. I don't have any items. I don't know what's going up for sale. I just have been told, and it's a rumor, technically. Oh, hell no! So, so what you really need to do is, you need to be able to look at the EU website. So you can kind of get an understanding of what the sale is, how good the sale is, and what items are offered on sale. But I usually check out Robert, another YouTuber who does this stuff. I'll put a link to his channel below. Uh, he's in London. He usually gets these up earlier or at least before US drops. Uh, you can also take a look at Supreme Community, probably just look at their monitors to see what restock in the EU. And we also might get some more in the next day or so of what could possibly be releasing there. So yeah, definitely pay attention Thursday morning, take advantage of the sale. There will be things out there that are worth going for, so I definitely recommend it. Please, 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 don't sleep on that one. If you are using Swift Soul, you'll probably have to pay attention to keywords and then add in your own items in Swift Soul. If you guys have any questions about how to do that, you can hit me up in the Discord, uh, my Discord down below, or Font Leroy. <laughs> uh, before we go, I wanted to get into shoes releasing this week. So the next big release on Nike is gonna be on the 6th. I don't see anything great here. This is probably personal. The only thing that's kind of a maybe is the Mantra Air Force One. Um, something a little different, nice clean colors, but I don't think it'll be like a crazy reseller either. Um, but you never know with these shoes, right? Uh, yeah, otherwise the 6th, not too interested in, but then the next big release is on the 8th. So first off, we have a 97 Air Max from Undefeated. This is the white colorway. I kind of like this colorway a little bit better than the other two that were released earlier, 
That being said, this is definitely a personal. The next shoe, which is kind of interesting, is this Air Force One Nordic. I don't really know how this one will do. They couldn't have made too many of those. I would probably throw a gamble in on one of these, see if I get it, and it's definitely, to me, gonna be a hold till probably next Christmas, next holiday season. Right, and then they will have an Air Jordan 1 releasing on the 9th, which is the Volt. I don't like this shoe. I won't tell you not to buy it though because most Jordan 1s do pretty well over time, but this one's ugly. I, I probably won't actually go for this one. I try to get shoes in my size, so if they do brick and I like them, I can wear them. I wouldn't wear this shoe. I don't really like this shoe. <laughs> it will resell though, so I mean, just you're gonna probably have to hold it a little bit, but it will resell. It might be my personal least favorite Jordan 1 that I've ever seen. I'm sure there's worse ones out there, but uh, yeah, I just don't like that big pop with extra bright yellow. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But you won't get hit by a car, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah, so that, that gets us up through the... That's through the 8th, and then their next release on the 13th. Um, I'll probably talk more about it on my next video, but... They will release these SB Dunk Street Hawkers. They will be releasing these on the 9th at certain skate shops. So please pay attention to the raffles and things for these. These are going to be a big shoe. But they do release on Nike on the 13th. Okay guys, so that about does it for a week in resale as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I did get a message that there is going to be a Palace end of season sale on Friday. Uh, make sure you check that one out as well. There might be some good stuff there. You never know with Palace. Uh, most likely those will be personals. I don't think you're going to see a lot of resale out of Palace sale bricks. But you never really know. Alright guys, so thank you again. Like I say every week, you do not have to leave YouTube right now, but you do have to leave this video because I'm shutting it down. Alright guys, thank you so much. Have a great day. See you later and peace. I feel like I'm chosen. I'm covered in gold. gold.